Hello there guys, well, welcome to Dave's Easy Tutorials. This video is still under paragraph formatting but we're covering the tab section. Now before we cover the tab section and show you how to um, set the tabs and things like that, I first need to discuss with you what type of tabs that uh, you use within the word and what they mean basically. Now the tabs that you set, first of all you must have your ruler showing so you literally come to this little button here and turn your rulers on. Now over here in the left corner you will see what we call the tab selector that is this area here and each time I click on that tab selector notice the style of tab is changing and it changes round each time. Now the type of tabs that it's going to usually by default it's this one here. Now it looks like an L that is what we call a left tab. Now you notice here I've put a little picture in with a left tab. That is a left tab. Now a left tab I've set a block here notice this first tab here is set and all the words in this column of data notice they are all aligned on the left side that's why that is referred to as a left tab the next tab we come to is the center tab now the center tab is all the words in this column are set in the center look so it's all in the center because there's the center tab the next one is what we call a right tab, backwards L. This one here is a L tab that I've set and notice all the words in this one are aligned to the left side of the word. Then the next one that you've got is a decimal tab. Now over here I have set a decimal tab and notice all the decimal points are in line and that is the type of tabs and this one here notice is what we refer to as a bar tab now a bar tab simply puts a line there's the first one there's a bar tab up there there's the second line there's the bar tab up there there's a third line or bar tab and there's the line there so basically it looks like it's columned off with lines yeah, in the table but that is because I've used a bar tab so just to reiterate what we take what talking with the tabs you've got a left tab which aligns all the words on the left side of the word you've got a center tab which aligns all the words in the center you've got a right tab which is all aligned on the right hand side you've got a decimal tab which aligns all the decimal numbers then you've got a bar tab which puts a line down each column of data if you like like that yeah and then when you continue to turn this round you'll see that's the first line indent and then you've got a hanging indent now what I will say about the indents is go and check my other video out paragraph um, formatting line spacing and paragraph and indentation and you'll understand the indents from that previous video but I'm showing you here I'm showing you them here because they are on that tab selector and you can set them from here just as quick so it's quite nice and easy now set it what you've got to understand about tabs is you set tabs per paragraph so when I turn the little show and hide on and I'll, I want you to notice notice here no tabs then you come down to here which is the first paragraph they've got tabs on and then you'll continue down here and the tabs will continue all the way down each line as we come down and then notice here no tabs again because I only need the tabs on 
that block of text so what I do is I use the tabs that I want to do and then when I'm finished and I'm finished with the tabs and I'm not going to write any more text I just remove the tabs now I just do control Q and that does get rid of them like all of all gone because I'm an experienced user but if, if you can't remember that all you do you just go up to that bottom half of that ruler and you just double click it and that'll bring the dialog box up if you can't remember that you just bring the dialog box up and say tabs and then it comes up here and then you just say clear all and then OK and what happens is it removes all the tabs and then you can continue your, your document and put normal blocks of text and everything else but there's no tabs on it so you don't need to now setting the tabs couldn't be easier all you do is you set the tab type that you want okay so let's say that I want a, a center tab for instance and and I'm just gonna get rid of these so there's no confusion basically um, right so from here I want a different set of tabs I want a center tab now I'm gonna set a tab at 2 notice all I do is point to the bottom half of the ruler and click and then I want one at 6 click and then I want one at 10 and there you go I've got the three tabs set if I don't want one if I've made a mistake or I didn't want that one I just click on it drag it off it's gone likewise here look click drag it off it's off click drag it off it's off it's that simple so as easy as that is you just select the type of tab that you want left tab I want a left tab at 3 and then I want a right tab imagine and I want a right tab at 7 yeah oh I didn't want it on 7 I wanted it on 9 so you just drag it along or you can simply just pull it off and reset it to wherever you want as long as you stay in the bottom half of this ruler you can click and set what you want now if you don't like that method and you want to set a tab through the dialog box you go to the home tab you go to the paragraph group you bring up the dialog box and then in the bottom left you'll see tabs you click on tabs that brings you this little dialog box up now what you can set here you can set these at what you want yeah so you can say two centimeters yeah and then you set it up two centimeters I want to send a tab set and notice it'll put it on at two centimeters then you can say at four centimeters um, centimeters I want a right tab yeah and then you say set and then you can say at eight centimeters I want a um, decimal tab for instance set now if you make a mistake and you don't want the four you just click the four and say clear and that will just clear that one tab if you say clear all it will clear all the tabs real straightforward stuff now just to show you how to say I'm going to clear all them just to show you this watch this imagine that I'm going to set a right tab and I'm going to set a right tab at four centimeters so four centimeters I want to set the right tab then at five centimeters oh sorry it would help if I say set <laughs> it has to come in this box underneath to be set now at five centimeters I want a left tab so five centimeters left tab set and then at we'll go at 14 I think yeah we'll go over at 14 at 14 centimeters I want another right tab and I said that as well now from the 5 centimeters to the 14 I want a dotted line there yeah so what I'll do is I'll set a tab leader what we call a tab leader of number 2 but I could say number three which is a dashed line and I could say number four which is a dead straight line but these are like 
little tab leaders that phone books use so you'll have a name and then you have a dotted line over to the number and then it's so your eyes will follow it to the correct number saves you putting a ruler on the paper and we say okay now or oh, did I set that last one I better set that two right so that one yeah that's it and we say okay now watch this if I say for instance David would have helped if I'd have pressed tab so tab and I'd have said David and then I'll type my oh, I've put it on the wrong one one minute guys because I've put that on the wrong one the tab leader um, paragraph tabs now I've put that tab leader on that one So I'll say, I don't want one on that one. It's got to be that one, 14, tab leader 2, set. So I'm just re readjusting it. It's pretty straightforward to readjust. Now then, on this one, I'll put my name. And then notice, there's your tab leader gone over to the number. Now imagine that I'm just going to make a... Um, That's phone number imagine. Then I come down here and then I'll just say and um, Yeah, notice again. Oh and then you go again. Now if I turn the show and hide off, you can see now how it's setting up. Yeah? So this is fantastic really simple easy no you know real straightforward stuff and then i'm just chucking numbers into it they're not real numbers now once i've made my list and i'm happy with them i just press i, I don't want any more notice this little fella here is now flashing with tabs on you just do control Q or click that little button there look I do control Q but now there's no tabs on this paragraph here and now from this point onwards as I come down there's no formatting on each paragraph now if you haven't seen my video formatting codes tutorial 6 you do need to go and have a little look at that and understand the paragraphs what I'm talking about character formatting paragraph formatting format codes in general you do need to understand them so go and watch that video if you haven't because you do need to understand them that is how easy it is to set the tabs guys once you've got your tabs set and you can still adjust them you just highlight what you want and then you could say right I'm going to bring this over here and that one over there and notice everything's moving accordingly these are so powerful so good guys well worth a little play with I hope you found this informative I hope you found it of interest if you have any problems you can just email me and I'll I'll try and answer any questions um, thanks for watching don't forget to check my other videos out and if you subscribe we do take requests so if you want to know how to do tables or mail merge or anything like that just pop over subscribe on our channel and then drop me an email and I'll do your videos just as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.